How goes it, everybody? My name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. And today I got this. The GWC 1942 War Wagon. Glitchworks brings us this one. And I'm not really sure uh, what he was going for with this one. Kind of like a mix of a military, like, old Dodge or something. But let's see what we can do to it. For engines, we have the 4-liter inline 6. The 4.2 board inline 6. Or the inline 6 dyno tuned. Well, let's go with that one. That makes the most power. Gearbox, we have the 5 speed default, 6 speed highway, and the 4 speed off road. Let's do the 4 speed first. Alright, suspension, we have stock ride height and a 4 inch lift. Well, let's do that. Tires, buzz. Selection of tires isn't all that big this time. So let's go with the 46 inch mud truck tire. He does have stats, which I, I like, so you seem to be the best in the mud. Let's choose these. Winch, got stock, stage two, stage three, and stage four. Definitely gonna go stage four, because it's offline. Visuals, we have the bed. We got some tools. Gives you some repair parts, some wheels, and some fuel. Or you can just do the spare wheel. Let's bring the tools along. You never know when you're gonna need them. We can put the high, the high lift jack on the hood, gives you some repair parts and an extra wheel. Snorkel, yep. Roof, just got a little visor. Sure, let's put that on there. Colors. Just got some basic colors, nothing too extravagant from what I see. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I'll just keep it the green that it is. Of course, you can do bobbleheads and other accessories, too. Uh, pretty minimal with this one, actually. Sometimes that's not a bad thing. Let's go see how it does. Not a bad little truck. Take a look inside once. Oh, yeah, it's... It's old school, for sure. Very simple interior. And that's really all they had, because that's all they needed. <laughs> Sounds like an old school uh, inline six, maybe even like a an old inline four almost. Let's go see how it does. It flocks on all the time. That's nice to see. And it'll just pull your scout trailers. Let's go see how it does on its own first. Put it in a four-wheel drive right away. Ooh, turn, baby. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. I'll take her through the little mud pit. Oh, yeah, and this thing articulates in the middle, which I thought was pretty cool. That ought to make it decent at some off-roading. That's interesting. Oh, we'll take her down in the swampy town. Let's see how it does through this area. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can really see that thing articulate. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Woo! Well, we couldn't hold on to fourth gear. This thing's just trudging through here. Oh my! Going over those down trees, okay? This thing will get a little wild on you. This thing's just... Oh! Oh, my. <laughs> I guess I gotta be a little more careful. Now, this thing can be a little... Oh, my. A little tricky to flip back over with the articulation. Oh, boy. Hmm. Interesting. Now, let's keep going. I turn low. I just wanted to see how... A low was. Right through the deep spot, no problem. This thing's doing really well. What is high like? Oh yeah. Not bad. You know, for a, a smaller vehicle, this thing did that pretty well. 
you know, it, it does come down to the tires. The tires do make the vehicle in this game. You can have the fastest, baddest mod that you want to make, but if the tires are shit, the fortunately the whole vehicle's going to be shit. Well, it did that pretty well. Let's go do some other stuff. Whee! <laughs> At least with the four speed, this thing isn't too crazy. We'll take it up here, though. Let's see how this thing really articulates on the rocks. It should actually be pretty good. If you've ever seen any of the uh, Top Truck Challenge trucks, uh, some of them actually did have the articulation for their suspension. And they actually did really well. Especially some of the older competitions. Oh! And these tires... If I remember right, don't necessarily like the rocks, but it will do it if you do find the right line. It could just be the wheelbase of this truck too. It's kind of short. I almost guarantee if it was just a little longer, it would probably do pretty well. All right, after a little bit, I finally got it up there. It's it's tricky with this one. Oh, because they're a little slidey on the rocks, just like that. Uh... <laughs> oh. I think we should just skip to towing a trailer. Well, actually, first... Oh, I ruined the suspension. Let's do a speed test. Let's see if... Oh, I ruined the gas tank, too. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's a jumper. Even with no suspension, it did pretty well. <laughs> All right, now let's go pull a trailer. I'll grab our little trailer. Let's go see how it does. I know it's an empty trailer, but... For some of these, oh Jesus, some of these smaller trucks, just having a little bit of weight behind it does make quite a bit of difference. We'll take her down the little trail. Let's we'll see how the little thing does. Yeehaw. All right, we're in fourth gear. Let's see if we can hold on to it. All right, not doing too bad. Yeah, right up the hill. Not too shabby. Didn't even drop out of fourth. I'm thinking that high gear is maybe just a little bit faster than fourth gear. It's... Oh my... It's really hard to tell. Ooh! So far, this little thing's doing pretty good. It's not much of a rock climber, but these tires aren't made for the rocks either, so... Yeah, take that into consideration too. But it wouldn't be a bad little scout. A little different of a build. All right, let's see if it'll do the little hill here. I don't really know how it's gonna do. I can't remember how these tires do. I don't think the truck weighs all that much, though. That might... 
That might be a deciding factor. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of weight over the front end. Or on the, the entire truck, really. But it's it's trying. Oh. Oh, 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 it was close. Come on. Keep going. Oh, you're almost there. Oh, yeah. Give her a little time and it'll get up there. All right, we'll go back down. And then we'll just fucking send it off the hill here. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Oh shit. All right. After quite a while of screwing around, I finally got it back. <laughs> you know what? The articulating uh, body there, it can be a little tricky to get back onto its wheels. So keep that into consideration. But after a little bit, you should be able to get it. Yeah, but so far, this little thing isn't doing all that bad. You know, for what it is, it makes pretty decent power. Oh, we didn't even drop out of fourth gear there. Comes the little puddle. Let's see if we drop gear here. Oh, yeah, not even a, an issue. Not bad. Hell yeah. This thing isn't bad. I've seen all I need to see. Well, that was the GWC 1942 War Wagon. It's not a bad little rig. It's, uh... It's different. The whole articulation thing. It's... It's way different. I almost wonder if you should, uh... Have, like, a certain point to where it doesn't articulate anymore, though. I think that would help out a little bit. But otherwise, it was really good. Little Bastard makes plenty of power. It's not bad off-road, either. Not good on the rocks, but these tires ain't made for it, so... Maybe maybe a different set of tires are a little better than these. But I, I'm usually in the mud and doing off-road stuff, so I usually go with the, the mud tire. But not bad. Good job with this one. I liked it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.